We are joined now by the defensive coordinator of the Wildcats, Mike Hankowitz. And coach, the defense obviously struggled down the stretch last year. Part of that was the offense's inability to control the ball. But what do you think happened on your side of the ball? Well, unfortunately, it really wasn't just the offense struggling. Uh, we, we didn't play the same way in the last three games that we had played in the first 10. We'd been a little up and down, but after 10 games, statistically, we were a lot better in most areas than we were the year before. But the last three, we lost our edge. We didn't play with the same confidence. We weren't as aggressive. Maybe they were worried about the fact that Dan wasn't there too much, but there was no excuse. We didn't play nearly like we were capable of, and it was embarrassing. And we talked about it at great lengths this spring. We laid out areas where we had dropped the ball in those games, and we, we set out to work on them. And we, were, we had great progress this spring, and we've made tremendous progress this fall. So we were embarrassed by what happened, and I, we don't want to let it happen again. Hank, the way it's turned out, the Legends division has become the downhill division other than Northwestern's offense. Is there anything you can do during camp to get yourself ready for the, the divisional play because they're so different than your offense? That's always the dilemma. You know, it's the con conversely when Iowa, they, they don't see the wishbone or the spread, you know, all year, and all of a sudden they got to play us. We have the reverse aspect. So we've tried to work on it more. Uh, we do our teach periods, we do request periods where the second offense runs plays we want, and we've tried to run a lot more of those plays because we, yeah, you're right, and you know, in three years it's kind of switched. My first year we had eight or nine teams that weren't spread most of the time or part of the time, and we saw very little downhill. And then the second year it started switching more, and then last year it was the reverse. Eight or so teams that ran downhill at you, so we've had to adjust in uh, what we've practice and what our emphasis has been. Secondary certainly jumped out. It seems to be more athletic. Uh, Peter's doing a tremendous job getting down in the box. Uh, can you talk about a little bit about that group? Well, Brian's played a lot of football for us, but we've got a young guy named Ibrahim Campbell. He's very athletic, was a running back in high school. Uh, he kind of gives us both size and athleticism, and he's got a little better cover skills than probably either Brian or Dave because of being a tailback mm -hmm. and everything. So we, we're building some depth there, and uh, we we talked about our secondary needing to be more aggressive. I like the progress. You're, you know, Jordan Mabin's played a lot of football yeah. around here, but I've seen him be a little more aggressive this fall like we've asked him to be. And Jervin Matthews is a guy that's made a lot of plays in special teams. You know, he's been a running back, a receiver. We moved him to DB. And in an ideal world, last year we would have redshirted him to give him another year to learn the position. But he made so many plays in special teams, we didn't think we could afford to. But he has really stepped up his game. I mean, he's got tremendous drive and determination and he's one of our faster players so we like what he gives us out there it's kind of a learning on the job uh, thing for him but he's done a great job so far defensive coordinator mike hankwitz thanks a lot coach thank you we'll see you this fall